guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another swatch party video. What else is new? There are so many palettes coming out and who can honestly keep up? Really quick, I do want to remind you guys, if you are new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe by hitting that big red button that says subscribe down below. My goal is to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of 2017 and I would be so jazzed if you guys could help me out with that. I also do upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me and if you love to watch people that upload all the time, which I personally do because I get really invested in people's personalities and YouTube like videos <laughs> I know I sound like a crazy person <laughs> anyway so hopefully you guys will subscribe but without further blabbering let's get into this ColourPop swatch party so you guys first of all there's a little story when I first saw this packaging which they announced like what this summer I was like I'm gonna need that palette I don't care what is going on inside it this like tortoise shell packaging like suckered me in which I think was the goal that Tarte had in mind is to like suck people in and so of course on the like very last leg of the VIB sale I was like give it to me give it to me give it to me so I bought it and I did do a shop my stash, which I do on my Instagram. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, this is my handle. It's just Karen Harris Makeup. I do unboxings on there. I do a weekly series with a bunch of beauty YouTubers and Instagrammers called Top 5 Tuesday. So if you guys are interested in seeing all that jazz, just head on over to Instagram. I upload on there all the time, so it's super fun. Anyway, put this in my shop my stash for this week. And I'm supposed to be trying to wear this. Now, I wore it two days, Monday and Tuesday, and I hated both the eye looks I came up with with this palette. So I was really, really bummed. So I do own this, and I have a feeling it's going to get swiftly taken back to Sephora. I will probably review it for you guys, but that's my 10-second review. So then, of course, Black Friday happened. And I don't know if I knew this was going to happen, but ColourPop did launch a new palette called the double entendre palette now it's confusing because i didn't realize it was going to come in the same packaging as one of my beloved i think i love you palette so that was kind of interesting it almost looks like the extension the sister the very close cousin to the i think i love you palette so this is gorgeous i love it and then i was like i opened it up and i'm like hold the phone did ColourPop just make a dupe for the tart toasted palette. Some YouTubers might say no because they want to help sell Tarte's palette, but by golly, I feel like ColourPop definitely nailed it. I mean, I see so many similar shades looking at both of these, which makes me want to return this even faster because why would I keep a 45 something dollar palette around when I can use this awesome ColourPop palette? I'm going to try and do comparison swatches. So Let's go ahead and see what I can come up with. So this first shade in the Tarte palette, which is called S'mores, reminds me a lot of this shade in the ColourPop palette called Flasher. So let's, oh, actually, yeah, look at that. Pretty close. I mean, it's like the tones are a little different, but, and Flasher feels like more satin, but seriously like come on and I'm really not liking this Tarte formula like whoever said that this toasted palette was good I don't know if I just got a bad palette but I'm telling you guys if you have my skin tone I really don't know what you're gonna do with this freaking palette it literally sucks so and then I would probably compare so this shade called sunrise which is I think also gonna look a little bit more like flasher more yellow so there's like a lot of banana shades and then I'm comparing that to uh, is it locked and loaded in the double entendre palette so those are the first two shades in each palette that I mean honestly like there's like a $30 price difference between these two so if you want to go buy the more expensive one you sure can but I'm telling you you don't need to so this shade in the Tarte palette called sunset I don't feel like there's like a direct dupe for and that is what it looks like it's a pretty shimmer but it's nothing like mind-blowing you know it's not like a ghost pen you know $45 but let me swatch it next to the Tarte shade called unhibited 
on Hibibidid, this one right here, and see if there's any resemblance. Are you serious? Can you guys even tell a difference there? I don't think you can. I'm just saying. I don't think you can. Okay, and then there's a shade in the Tarte palette called Crackle. So basically it's like a matte brown loaded with glitter. It looks so beautiful when you swatch it. But guess what? When you try to blend this on your lid, all the glitter ends up on your face, which is bullshit. I mean, look at how pretty it is, but it sucks on your lids. I literally tried to wear this yesterday on my lids, and I had, like, a hot mess all over my face. So I'm swatching this next to Hot Bod, which is that shade right there from the ColourPop palette. And, okay, so the ColourPop one is definitely, like, a lighter brown. The Tarte palette definitely has more glitter, and it's, like, a darker brown. So it's a really beautiful swatch. But I've tried the Too Faced shade on my eyeballs, and... It was not good. It was really bad. So if that's one of the shades that's like attracting you to the Tarte palette, I would say you can easily pass on that. Next shade on the Tarte palette is Cashmere. It's like a peachy, orangey shade, like a crease shade. And on the ColourPop palette, you could swatch that next to, it's called Naked, right there. So let's go ahead and swatch it right there. Okay, so the tones, again, are a little bit different, but I don't know. I mean, okay, let me show you. Tones are a little different. All the Tarte shades are on top, and then these are the ColourPop shades. So keep that in mind for all my swatches. Next shade is Extracurricular on the ColourPop palette. It's another, like, peachy orange, just a little bit darker. So there it is. And then the Tarte palette has a shade called Warm It. They look really similar, like in the pan. And what do you know? Similar swatch as well. Okay, I flipped those around because this is not the Tarte one and this is the ColourPop, but they are identical. I would say identical. So I don't know if, like, I feel like Tarte was definitely getting ripped off by ColourPop, but... I don't know, maybe ColourPop did a better job. Now there is no shade like this, and I do love a good bronzy, coppery tone. So there is a swatch of that, and this shade is called Flame. Super pretty. I feel like there's a lot of shades like this in the Naked Heat palette, so that's something to think about. I'm just so shocked because people said that this Tarte palette is better than the Naked Heat palette, and I'm a little bit shocked. So this shade Hard in the ColourPop palette reminds me so much of the shade Cozy in the Tarte palette. So again, tones are just a little bit different. I actually like the ColourPop shade better because it's a little bit more warm than this one, which is the Tarte shade. Wow. And then we're on to the last row. So I did not swatch this one for you guys, so let me swatch this. This is Draft by ColourPop. I don't know that it's similar to any of the shades, but it's a beautiful color, you guys. Look at that. Can you see that? That's Draft in the ColourPop palette. Super, super pretty. Super pigmented. I have been loving these. I feel like they foil so well really killing it for me and then in the Tarte palette we have a shade called candle right here I do like the Tarte put all the names on the actual palette so I don't have to do like a flipperoni and then on the ColourPop palette this shade is called keep it PG looks very similar so let's find out in swatch that did not swatch very well so there are the sh two shades very very similar these are crazy identical. I, I, can't, I can't. If anybody tells you they're not the same, they're lying to you, I swear. So we have Latte from Tarte, and then this shade called Nip Slip. So let's swatch those two. These are going to be hard to see because I'm uh, obviously darker than these shades. Super similar. I swear to God, you guys, I'm picking up from two palettes. It's not the same palette. Now this shade by Tarte, which is called Simmer. I don't see a dupe for in the ColourPop palette. So there is Simmer, really pretty. And then the last shade, which is Fireside by Tarte. 
And then we have Teddy Bear by ColourPop, these two. So let's swatch. There we go. Okay, so the ColourPop one did swatch patchy, but honestly, I've had so much experience with the ColourPop shadows. I would not just judge them based off of these swatches. I put them on your eyeballs because they truly are a fantastic formula. Must try, can't say enough good things. Hope you guys got to pick some up during the sale. And I'm just gonna show you guys one more time look at how similar these two palettes are. Just feel like they are so close. So let me know what you guys think. I would be interested in hearing your thoughts. I just feel like ColourPop right now is like unstoppable. They are the creme de la creme for eyeshadow palettes. And then this is it next to the I Think I Love You. I feel like it's just a great like shade extension palette. Definitely what I would call a sister palette. Take notes, ABH. Just kidding, I just had to get that in there. And then really quick, since we are swatching ColourPop, I thought I would throw in the Take Me Home palette that they launched on Black Friday with Sephora. It's actually the palette I'm wearing on my eyes right now. I did this makeup obviously at like 6 a.m. this morning and it's still on, it's wonderful. Again, I can't say enough good things. Also, this is such a great travel palette. You can put this in your bag. It's such a great stocking stuffer for an eyeshadow lover. Plus, it has a mirror. Are you kidding me? This feels so good. So let me just quick swatch these. I don't know if they have names. Oh, yeah, they do. So here are the first three shades, and we have French Kiss, Sidetracked, and Issues. Super pretty. I think basically all the shades are matte except for one shade. And then this middle shade has a little bit of glitter in it, but it's barely noticeable. That brown just swatched like a dream and I love it. I think it's really, really pretty. I love how like neutral this is. I feel like it's a no brainer. It's gonna give you like the same eye look every day, but sometimes for work, that's really all you need. You don't wanna stare at like an eyeshadow palette for like five minutes trying to figure out what to do with it. You know what I mean? So here are the last three shades swatched on my fingers. And we have Salt Water, Popular Demand, and Bitter Better. So pretty. So there are the swatches right there. So I just feel like this is such a good palette. It's such a great way to dip your toes into ColourPop if you don't want to invest in something straight off of their website. Also, I was really disappointed with the first two palettes they came out with, the Golden State of Mind palette and the Semi Precious palette because they were all glitter. And I feel like for a beginner, it's tough when you have all shimmer shadows. Although I've seen a lot of my friends use the palettes and really kill it with their eye looks, so that's really good. But um, yeah, I feel like if you're not very experienced, this is such a good buy. And I've really been hearing a lot of good things about the Tartlet Mini palettes. So I'm glad that ColourPop came out with something like that. Um, same concept, like even smaller than their already small palettes. Um, so you guys, I'm just like gonna be buying all the ColourPop palettes because I think they're such great value for money. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Am I totally off base with how similar these palettes are or do you guys agree with me let me know if you picked up any of these items I would be so happy to talk to you guys in the comments down below thank you so much for watching this video I hope you have a great rest of your day bye guys